it by you. You pick that those two. We have a list of 50, but right. there's no end of the list. We're just keep okay. adding. We're just keep okay. adding. We're to come up. The last time in 97, I sat around in living rooms and sat around kitchen tables, and we had chats. I can't remember if it went in Mark or not. But, uh, well, we're going to hear from the other. I want to get as many questions. Let's take two together, and then I'll get you to answer sure. them. Okay. Uh, I have two questions. Your name is? <laughs> 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 oh, you're under the system. <laughs> uh, Shane, I just moved here recently from Dublin, Ireland. And um, I was looking the first kind of question, the second place you And um, I heard of bike theft is a huge thing in Vancouver. So that's kind of made me apprehensive about buying a bike and even getting a little break. So that a lot of people I've heard and so far. So um, obviously, then I wonder if obviously it's the thing you can do about that. And then, so you've gone from that in Dublin. And I'm all right there for you all that that was one of the main things that got me inside in Dublin because I didn't have to worry about locking up the bike properly. Like it was in Dublin, yeah. her vandalism graffiti is huge. It took off exponentially and they're already spreading it in suburbs and I think only one bike was on the list. So, so we're looking at public bike share. Two, two great questions. Two great questions. So we're looking at public bike share right now. We've got a request for expressions of interest out now that close uh, in June and, uh, and we'll be bringing stuff to the council in July if we to make a decision. Um, it will be up to council whether we implement it or not. Um, great, does everyone, does, everyone, does everyone know what public bike share is? Basically, the bikes and stations, you can pick them up, you can ride them one way, return it to another station. And, and if, There's a blog post today on Carbon Talks. Oh, is there a bike share? So, so we're looking at it right now. We're receiving submissions over the next couple of weeks. We'll evaluate them. Uh, they're expensive, and so uh, you know, we've got a bit of a concern about uh, what the city's involved in. Hoping. Would be, but council will make a decision in July. Second thing around bike theft, yes, it's a concern. I just, um, I've been riding a $200 used bike for the last 20 years, and uh, my frame just broke. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> anyway, so I just bought a new bike, a new fancy new bike, and now I'm afraid to ride it anyway because yeah. I don't want it stolen. So yes, it's true. And um, and uh, there's a few things we're doing. One is, you know, in, in new offices that are part of the um, Bike storage and lock bike storage, and also showers and changing rooms, etc. Those lockers, um, and also in new residential buildings that we park put in uh, secure bike storage. Um, we've got a lot of bikes parking on the street, but that's not secure. Yeah. And we're looking at um, bike bike caves, we bike centers, um, you know, providing lockable um, uh, areas that maybe uh, would be managed by somebody, perhaps if we do bike share, maybe it'd be the same. Company that does a bike share. You know, you swipe, you get, become a member, you've got a card to swipe to get in, so when members can get in, they've got video security. So we're looking at um, secure bike storage in public yeah, spaces. It gets expensive when you have to buy a fancy, which buying two bucks even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The cost of cycling, sure. Abs absolutely. And it's one of the big concerns around the, the state and around the GM, the Rogers Arena, and the NBC place, the security there. And that's why we partner. So for special events, yeah. um, we do uh, our, our others provide valid parking mm -hmm. and that provides secure parking. Uh, but those that that's not on a day-to-day -day basis. It's <coughs> special events. Your name? I'm Miranda. Um, I'm just, it's interesting because I'm part of that. I was part of that big yellow 60%. That's the um, would like to, but kind of concerned. Um, and I just recently moved over into the, okay, I'm, I'm much better because of the bike lanes. So first of all, thank you for that. Um, but it's working. I, yeah, it is working. Um, but the only reason I actually went downtown was because of those bike lanes. And I always see on the bike lanes. Like, I'm not going to have these bike lanes. And then I kind of looked and I was like, well, that's not too bad. Maybe I'll try this one. Um, and so it was kind of a mindset for me. Uh, and now that I've done it, I think I did it twice, and I'm like, well, that wasn't too bad. I'll just go and do it, keep doing it. So now I'm, I'm actively biking anywhere, and I'm really, really confident. Part of it is that I see cars more aware. Um, so what I'm wondering, though, is I heard you speak a lot about implementing you know, more um, bike lanes that are, are designated and such. But part of it, to me, was my mindset and just feeling confident. And so are you guys going to be partnering with some organizations that put on the courses for people that you know, you, do you want to try it and just come with a group of people where you can learn the rules of the road? Because a lot of it is, I didn't know rights of way, and I was like, am I going to have to do this? And I, what's the car going to do? And um, just being able to talk to other people. And I think that, yes, implementing, you know, the, the specific area is great, but I feel like one part that I thought was missing in this was the Q 
community and the, the yeah. mindset and the support on, on that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Education and outreach are, are huge components of it. Mm -hmm. um, the fact of where you're like pointing to Aaron, it's not like it's like I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> uh, you have yeah, yeah I'm, very I'm, very I'm fine, but how do you reach people that are even almost too yeah. scared to go, like, I don't know, they don't know about those, yeah. right? Like, yeah. I do know about it because I'm active to look so, at them. So we are working at that, that's part of the outreach, that's part of the marketing to get to that 60%. Okay. There's cycling skills courses that are offered, and yeah, making people aware of it. Um, I think the ASC is also starting, the CC is starting up on tours. Yeah, Discover Downtown by Bike Scene with riding groups and they give you a quick mm -hmm. overview of the rules of the road, and especially with the new bike signals, which have never been around. Some people don't know really to look for them, things like that. But, but sorry, it's, what's your name and the name of the organization? I used to be really hey, Yeah, I'm Erin Holland, and I'm with the Vancouver Area Safety Coalition. Which is a nonprofit association that does everything. Yeah, education, promotion, and celebration. One, two, three, four. So, Carrie, this one, I'm going to ask you, we're going to group some questions so we get all questions, get the next three questions. Should out. I be shorter as well? With that no, no, no. And then, I'm gonna, and, then, and then if you can just keep track of the questions, I'll also do the things. So, if we get three questions out and then start answering them. Yeah, all right. Carrie. So, when I end up having these values based debates, you know, I think you're right about that. When people respond, um, it's always about danger. And I wonder what the quick answer is. I'd like to be able to say, well, more people get in accidents in cars than on bikes or something like that. Like the relative danger of um, driving a car and riding a bicycle. Okay, I'm going to just get you to hang tight. Let's get a couple more questions. This up. is hard. I've got to remember. Uh, no, I'll remind you. Thank you. So, my name is Janine, and I guess I'll ask a related question just to make it easier. Uh, so, you did cite that with more bike users, we would see a decrease in danger and I was wondering in what ways exactly you were able to see that danger and see that danger decrease um, further. Hi, I'm uh, Genevieve, I uh, teach physical science here um, and I'm also at Adam Santos. Um, so I have a couple of questions. Um, the first has to do with, uh, actually it's just a follow on from the, the point that was made there, but the cycling culture, I mean there definitely is a lack of robust cycling culture in Vancouver compared to Seattle. And this, I think, is a, a concern. Well, for example, I mean, and specific, what I'm getting at, not so much the cycling routes, but the communication that takes place among cyclists, which is very little in Vancouver again compared to Seattle, which plays into uh, not only a sense of camaraderie and so on, making cycling more interesting and funner, but safety. And so I'm just interested in the, the relationship between the bank for something called and the city in terms of promoting um, uh, communication amongst like this, uh, hand signals, uh, mobile signals, the use of bells. So you've got you've got the whole values and fear based and, and how is the decreasing danger in mm -hmm. ways that that is going on? How it comes to the city. Oh okay, this is too much. <laughs> Um, so, so the valley space debate. Yeah, so, yeah, and um, cars versus yeah, so safety safety stats are um, a bit of a challenge for us on second because a lot of what we look at is the ICBC um, data based on accidents, and that is car oriented and it's related to claims. So unless um, a driver in 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 the old days, uh, the police department used to keep track of safety stats, but they don't anymore. And now it's IC, the ICBC database. So we get a, a, a window of the um, uh, accident information from ICBC, but it's not comprehensive, and so that is a challenge. Um, we know that, um, that cycling, the more, the more cyclists there are, um, the greater public awareness is of cycling, and so that's part of the safety issue is that cars might make a right hand turn and not even think to look, you know, when they make a left, they're looking for cars, making a right, they may look for pedestrians, but with the um, bike lanes, they're not looking for cyclists. So as they see more cyclists, it raises their awareness. Same thing with pedestrians. As